if you've been playing through that final chapter, you know that she was uh, ascended. She was turned into a monster. Um, and you do fight her near the end of the of chapter five. And Anduin picks up like she's fighting against her will, which, you know, as somebody who may have been through that recently, you might be more attuned to pick it up, is I'm saying. Um, so, you don't finish her off, though it looked like I did. Oh, there she is. Um, so, I'm just showing us it on the map. It's over here. There's a building over here. Also, um, well, Kex is in here. Oh, there's an innkeeper. What do you know? I, I will never not be amused by the fact that an Arubians have beds. Because <laughs> you look at an Arubian here, and you're just like, eh, legs will be hanging all over the place on that bed. Maybe they just have them for guests. For morsels, such as you and I. Um, Amy, the Kieran Tour. Birds are of the highest quality. She misses her pie Good cart. Oh, she had the pie cart. I remember you from Delrin. Um... Music dance. This is Neferus. She's, I believe, connected to this or something. I'm not sure what's, what's going on with her, but let's talk to her. Who are you? Hi, that's Neferus. I am so stitch heel. I'm glad you're doing well. Bye, my queen. Forgive me. I should have known your demise was manufactured by Zalatav. Widow. No. No. Do not look. Stay away. Nephorus, I've been apart from you for too long. Do not ask me to suffer your absence for another moment. I... Abomination hurts. Leave me, Naya. Never. After all that has happened, all that we've done, it was worth it to hear you say my name again. You needn't speak, my dear. I am here at your side. I will not leave you. All is as it should be. You can see actually like the shape of her head is where you saw her headpiece in the, the cinematic. But yeah. So I mean <laughs> What? Go away. Yeah, it's Yeah. I feel so bad. It's like I kinda of wanna like, by the way, if you're looking for Flynn, he's he's right out here too. He's just hanging out here. Just... Waiting for something. I, I hope that one scene wasn't the only thing with Flynn for this whole expansion because that's gonna be kind of disappointing. So that's all here. I thought I could I thought there would be more for me to do down here. Yeah. And doing an enthrall talking. Well, I walked right out and didn't even bother looking around. It's a big shame on me. Because right here, it's kind of a big deal. Don't know where Magni is, by the way. But, um. Yeah! <laughs> and we have to stay a while to listen with them. So, why don't we stay a while and listen? We time. will defend Azeroth together. That's right, Kek. Now there's some, uh, some early speculation. I don't know what to think yet. I'm still thinking there might be a Vadgar. I'm a, a Voidgar. I'm amused that he has an arcane chair. Um, and I mean, it's cool on the one hand, but I'm just like, you could have just made yourself like a lounge chair to cart yourself around. You know, 
You could have been floating around in style, just saying, Kiker. Anyway. Um. Anyway, we have still want to listen. There is much left to do. Well, you have two choices. You actually have show me what happened. And still will So we can just show me what happened. Because we want to watch this. We want to watch it again. Um, I want to watch it again. May your... You mortals are the most wrathful creatures in existence. I've watched you break worlds, overthrow gods. Even the realm of death That's couldn't too. hold you. Your hunger for violence is insatiable. You lured us here, unleashed us upon the Nerubians. All to fuel the Black Blood's power. My power. This stops now. <laughs> Your determination delights me. But I have risen from the ashes of countless empires. I have survived ordeals you cannot comprehend. You cannot kill me. I'm not aiming at you. This changes nothing! No, no, no. I heard your voice. This can't be. <laughs> you did well. I knew you would stop her. Stay with me, Katka. Don't let go. Resurrections. He can res. So, I, was I do apologize for the uh, delay and the quality of the stream, but OBS, I have no idea what's going on. It was fine last night. <laughs> Not tonight. So, so that's what happened. Um, and uh, some discussion on uh, did Anduin get his, you know, light back? He actually, when he speaks to Thrall, that it, like it's doesn't mean that he's a hundred percent okay. Um, whatever that means. So, you know, whatever that means, what okay means for him. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, so it's not like he's cured because that's not how it works. Okay. So let's actually do the stay while and listen. Hopefully Mr. Panda over there is, okay, thank you. You have found me.
It occurs to me that I never got the chance to properly thank you, champion. Were it not for your efforts, Dalaran could have proven to be an even greater tragedy than it was. We thought we had lost you, Khadgar. How did you survive? The Dark Heart was created not to destroy, but to capture and harness all manner of power. When I felt what it was doing to me, I transmuted myself into pure arcane energy. And allowed yourself to be trapped within the Dark Heart? Yes. Until you freed me. That was a risky move. Trusting me to finish the fight against Zalatath. I knew you would do whatever it took to defeat her. Just like all those years ago. When we charged through the dark portal and closed it behind us to save our world. Both then and now, placing my faith in you was never any risk at all. That transmutation spell, however, that was not without consequences. You know, Kerdrin keeps saying I should just ride a griffin around. That seems terribly inconvenient, if you ask me. I much prefer this chair. Could that be because Archmage Modera designed it for you herself? Why, Alaria? Whatever are you implying? <laughs> Only that you and Terralian are so very alike. Bold in battle, shy in matters of the heart. <laughs> And you are still the same old Deleria, I see. That I am, Khadgar. Void or no void. Madeira. Actually, I haven't seen Madeira. I don't know where she is. I thought she was a casualty of, you know, what happened. So I haven't seen Madeira. She must be around somewhere if she's designing chairs for Khadgar. Um, yeah, the chair is floating. That's wheels, but it's floating. Uh, but hey, you know, it's... But cute. Um, they're trying to hook him up with, uh, Madeira after all these years. It, I mean, that goes back, that teasing goes back, I think, to Legion, even. Um, the Legion, yeah. There's definitely little, little playfulness going on there. So, yeah, um, so... Don't assume victory. And you do have the option to, uh... To watch again and to listen again. Find the path to victory. I wasn't expecting for him to thank me right off the bat. I'm like, there look, it was much to be done. Chaos, my friend. Uh, <laughs> I was just winging it like I always do. Um, but damn, where is Madeira now? Because I definitely had her under on the unaccounted for list. Um, hmm. She's going making chairs for him. Hey, hey, Brent. I speak for the machines. Task resumed. Hey, Dagon, I got some stuff for you. Sorry, I got distracted. It's perfect. The conversion levels on these parts are minimal. We should be able to salvage. To, we should be able to salvage, salvage whatever information they hold. Let's uncover some buried knowledge, Arleia. Oh, are you headed? The great Titan Kazgaroth, who granted me the gift of the forge has relayed information from the Pantheon about our purpose. To create order from the chaos of the cosmos, the Titans search the great dark beyond for the prime world soul. This world soul, the most powerful in existence, they would guide to become the greatest Titan of all. In time, they came to sense a mighty presence within the world called Azeroth. 
The Pantheon made their way to the nascent world soul, hoping that their search was at an end. Amazing. It's as though Keeper Arcadis was delivering the word of the great Kaz Garov himself. These logs must be the architect's personal records of everything. I wonder how many more we can recover. I know of Arcadis from my studies in Kazmodan. But this world soul he speaks of? Here on Azeroth? Do you think that's what Granda Magni was hearing all those years when he was a speaker? I am not sure what significance this might have for my people. Or my purpose. But I have faith in the Titan's plan for us. Well, I wasn't quite expecting that level. Um, I mean, a, a lot of it's not new, but the confirmation that the world soul in Azeroth is something special, is especially powerful, and that they wanted it to create a very powerful titan does paint an interesting picture. So, yeah. Huh. I'm going to be gathering those discs. <laughs> I need to know more. But I guess you have to wait for the weekly quest. What do you... You can't just keep going out and farming them. You have to get them... They... It's... Gated. Basically. Which I don't mind. Um... Pinnacle Cache. Weekly cash. Pentacle cash. I almost said cash. Uh, weekly cash containing materials for upgrading gear, gold, and more. So probably flight stones and crests. Uh, the first two weekly cash you earn each week contain a piece of adventure gear. The first four restored copper keys. So adventure gear. So not terrible. So I got another key. Cool. Um, resonance crystals. That is a better dagger, I believe, than anything I have on. Uh, 567. Yeah, these are both explorer daggers. So we're going to, um, put that <laughs> right now. Um, and I'm going to go upgrade. Because I should have enough from scavenging around to upgrade. Interesting. Can I play it back? Like, once I've seen it, can I play back past ones? Because that would be cool. I'd like that. No? I was hope No? One and done? That's it? Dagron? No? Okay then. I can't play it over again. That kind of sucks. Maybe when we have all of them, you'll get like a, a thing. 